We're back guys, so we're here right now at the North Carolina with the Greensboro Boat Show here. We're at the Harris pontoon boat area, sponsored by Get It Wet Marina. Here are some of their pontoons and boats that they got going on. This is their 2024 Sunliner 230. Starting price right now. This one is MSRP at 86,000. It's kind of cut down a little bit in price. But uh, check out your couples. You got a USB in the back there. You got how many speakers? I'll count the speakers. I like this captain's chair area here. This one clearly comes with a Reese's and a computer. Look at the back here, man. Alex, check this out. The 200 horsepower Merc. This is like a whole sun deck area back here. This is huge. Now, right now, we just have a, uh, a Tahoe T16 that we absolutely love, but sheesh. Look at the other one right over here, too. Well, it's a family and a child, so we won't go there yet. We'll go over to this one. All right, guys, so right now I'm here with Randy from Get Up. Right, right now, guys, I'm here with Randy from Get Wet Marina and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> from uh, in North Carolina. So we're just going over some of the pontoon boats and other boat lineups, and he was explaining to us. What was the biggest difference you were saying about the pontoon boats? So on a fiberglass boat like you have, it's a little more tapered, the bow, so you got limited seating. On a pontoon like this, you're not giving up any performance, but you got an eight and a half foot beam bow to stern, so piling 10, 15 people on it a lot easier than it is on a fiberglass hole. Yeah, so Alex and I were walking on the one back there. I don't know the actual model. Again, I'm new to this yep. pontoon boat industry here. It's a 230 Sunliner you were walking on. I really like that back area that you, it's like, is that a whole sun deck area? You can it is, spread it's a flip flop rear seat that can be forward facing or aft facing. Is there any way you could show us that? Cause there are a lot of people like myself that aren't. Yep. I'm sorry, buddy, what was your name? Anderson. I'm sorry? Anderson. Anderson, nice to meet you, bud. See, I'll follow all, you. They either lock forward or they lock aft. Or if you're real lazy. You oh can my make a great gosh. Game. Yeah, guys, that's absolutely beautiful. We don't have that kind of room on our uh, on our Tahoe T16. I know my wife would absolutely love that. Especially Sounds like there's a trade coming. There might be a trade in the near future. <laughs> now, uh, Alex loves the. Um, we have a. Uh, What's up, Alex? How you, buddy? Good to meet you. I'm Randy. <laughs> Alex loves the, the to we have a little tow area on the back end. That's right. It looks like you guys can. Same can you thing. just go over that with us? Same thing. Oh, sorry, go for it. I'll follow you. Bar. We have some ski tow rails right here, and uh, it was some safety items here. Yep, safety rails. These are stainless steel safety rails. Very nice. Makes this seat legal to use while you're underway. So okay. if you want to sit back here aft and face aft, now you've got a chase lounger to watch if he's playing on a tube or kneeboard. But what do you think? I think this is really Yeah, huh? We gotta get mommy to come. Because, um, you gotta come closer. Because last time uh, we had, I was with my friend, and there was this giant wave that they sent to us, and then we just went flying. We did like backflips. Yeah, and stuff I think I got that on, on video too. Yeah. When you, yeah, with you and uh, the hunt man. All right, guys. So we're gonna go over a few more boats over here, but uh, I tell you one thing: these are absolutely stunning. And if you get a chance, I'm gonna link their phone number, their website. And everything and you can go talk to randy and anderson yes sir come off easy Did you see that step off that boat over there? Okay, so we're over here checking out the 2024 Sun Chase at Vista. A little bit more of an entry level, it seems like, of the pontoon level boats. I'll show you guys what they have it listed as. The Vista 18 yeah. Yamaha T60. Uh, 28,900 so we'll just round up to about 30 grand 
after taxes. Smaller size, a little bit more compact pontoon boat here. You got your two captain chairs right here. Not sure if they swivel. You got a little area here to sit down. Some cup holders. Alex, but do me a favor. If I was driving right now and hanging out, see how much room you got behind me. All right. So maybe for an adult, that's going to be a lot tighter than what it seems. Uh, Alex really, you know, he's... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Well, maybe you're right about that. Probably more like that. Yeah, for an adult sitting back there, you should probably... Here, you hop over here. Let's see. Yeah, that's your battery. The battery turn off. I like that. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? As an adult sitting back here, you'll have more than enough room. Even with that captain's chair the way it is with the captain here. Uh, I'm about 6'2", 260, and uh, there's more than enough room here. Yeah, light. Looks like, what is that? Looks like we got a cooler, possibly a live well with a pump. Some fresh water inlet and outlet. We got one, two, three, four, five. How many cup holders? We got five so far. Seven. Six, seven, eight. Decent amount of cup holders, some nice storage. It doesn't seem like it comes with electronics or maybe this one doesn't because it's at the uh, the expo. But it's a it's a very, very nice boat for under $30,000. All right, guys, right now I'm here with Eddie from Waterworld. Hey, how's it We're going? We're going to go over this. Now, what exactly are we on right now? Because so, we, we passed this over, Alex and I, and we saw this. It almost looks like a bar, but we're not totally sure. So this is the DLZ bar. It's a Sylvan. Uh, it's an L3 24-foot boat. The way that it works, if you look over here, the bar stools come out of these holders, and you put them up here and into the other holders there on the floor. Let's talk about these ones right there. Mm -hmm. oh, look when at you're that. Done, when you're done using the bar, you pop these seats out. How cool is that, bud? I'll and move then out. you'll have to move back a little bit. Sure. Here. Look at this. Get out of town. And then it turns into a big lounger. Oh my gosh, they thought of everything. Oh, I'm sorry, one more time, and what exactly is this model here? This is a Sylvan L3 DLZ bar. All right, and they can find you where at Waterworld? You In Durham, number? North Carolina, 135 South Miami Boulevard. Thank you so much to Eddie here showing us this. This is unbelievable. This here, and what are we looking at speaker-wise? Uh, this has a JL audio system in it with uh, an enhanced power amp to run it. I think it has six speakers in it. And we're at a price point right under 85,000. So this is listed here at the, at the expo for 83,900. Guys, this is one beautiful boat. This right here is, a, well, is this, an absolute game changer right here. So this boat's also fully loaded. It has this extra table that hooks onto the ski toe. It just has these clamps here. You can clamp the table off if you're not using it. Over here, we've added another table. It's a stowaway table. And so this table can just stow away like that. What? Or you just pull it back up, set it up here. You have in-floor storage in this guy. This also has a raised platform, which is a feature that we added to this. So the lighting that we have on this boat, you have mood lighting underneath all of the speakers coming out from under the captain's seat and the cup holders at the console, as well as the cup holders there on the bar. Guys, this boat is decked out and this also has a power right. top. Oh my goodness. So it has a power convertible top. And the one feature that you would have to kind of show on this plaque, we could not put it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you look at this picture here, it has an extended piece. This pole. I'm going to come out over here. This pole will go down into these holders here. And that pole goes out and the rear extension would hook to it, just like you see in the picture here, but it would hit these lights so we can't hook it up at the show. So at the show guys, this is exactly what Eddie's talking about. And now on the picture, it doesn't get, do it justice, but I'm gonna come off the boat here without falling. What are we saying about so how far extended, is that? The extended, it would go out to about there and hook to this one so it would shade this entire back and some of the swimming area. Yeah, guys, um, this is And then beautiful. we put a VF VMAX 250 motor on this boat as well. So this boat's pretty decked out. Eddie, thank you so much. You're welcome. This is
Really beautiful. Alex, how are you liking it? <laughs> so far, I'd have to agree. This whole bar area where you guys can sit back, have some water, and hang out, whatever you're doing on the boat, you got this whole area that it, 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 it extends out, I mean, off the boat here. What, what are we adding with, not so much square footage, but how far would you say it is from the back, from your arm to where I am? Easily, 12 uh, feet? I think the extension is right at 12 foot. Yeah, all right, so I wasn't off with that. Yeah, guys, so the picture you may not see as big on the picture, of course, that's a picture. In real life, it is a massive amount of shade that you would be getting, and uh, especially down here in North Carolina, that is uh, welcomed, especially when it's 100 degrees, you're just hanging out. But uh, thank you so much again. Let me come up there and say goodbye to you, and thank you for your time. Yes, that was great. Thank you. Uh -huh. My dream boat right here. Let's go up top. <laughs> Look at the price. <laughs> so Alex's dream boat here as it sits. It's a $375,000 boat, but at the show, guys, reasonable $286,000 for you. We made it over to the Bennington pontoon section here. We're gonna hop up there. This is their R23. I know that because it says R23 right here. We're gonna see if we can get up here. This one would be suited with a 300 horsepower. This is a tripoon. Very cool. Looks cool with LED lights and stuff. It does look very cool. Oh, look at the speakers on the back. You could be hanging out here jamming. We're gonna see how we can get up into this exhibit right now. Uh, and check out what they have over here at Bennington. Brilliant, Alex. Oh yeah, the guy at the lake has this one exactly, this Malibu. This thing is beautiful too. Uh, his is, I want to say, either black or maybe green. I'm not sure, I can't see the color either way. Check out this Malibu here. Before you take anything, ask that gentleman. Excellent. Guys, here's the entrance here. Here, this Malibu sits as a 23 LSV. That's my phone. Sitting at 182,900 as it sits with, it looks like, with the trailer. I'm going to hop up here, check it out. I think we fell in love with the pontoons, guys. This one has a step down on it. So I'm gonna come over here. Hi, I'm Joe. Hey Joe, I'm Brandon with uh, Grandpa's Marine. Couldn't be more excited and ignited to be right here at the Central Carolina Boat and Fishing Expo at the Greensboro Coliseum. We're gonna look at some Bennington pontoons. I love it. Let's go, Alex. Let's check this out, Brandon. So we so, talked about entry level, right? And, yeah. and everybody wants affordability. Well, there's a couple of plan floor plans of affordability. We have Bennington here. It's a 20 uh, SL, and you can see traditional floor plan with L group seating high back recliners. This is a new model for them. This is a tri-tune boat with a 150, and you can see we are offering some serious warranties here uh, with a Yamaha factory seven year warranty, a 10 year parts and labor warranty on the boat. That's standard with all Bennington, and lifetime construction warranty. What's the construction warranty? That's the vinyl floor down uh, is the, uh, the, the, ten year, sorry, the lifetime warranty. All of these Bennington's are gonna come with Benny, Benny tops and boat covers. You gotta have that. Um, Especially down here. Absolutely, in that July sun, it certainly gets hot. Um, so both of these boats are the same size, just different floor plans. Yeah, so we're gonna get on this Bennington Swingback. This is a 20 SVSB. This is entry level, tri-tune with 150 horsepower. We're talking 36, 37 mile an hour top speed. Very versatile back seat. So we're gonna pull our guy right here. Alex, come over. On the boat. Well, you're right, and mom wants to keep up with what's going on with Alex. So what we can do is we can take this swing back and we can pop it up. And now mom, 
friends can see what Alex and the rest of the kids are doing behind the boat. But yet, if it's time to let's get moving down the lake and go cruising, we pop the swing back up and now we're facing forward. We've got storage under all of these seats. Uh, the vinyl floor wicks water away. Uh, what happens to just be mom and dad on maybe a little date night, we got great two-person cruising with what I say is probably the most comfortable seat on the boat, and that's this right oh, here. Oh yeah, I love that. Check that out, guys. We move over here to the new dash here. I call it indestructible. You pretty much can do whatever you want to sit on it. I can be holding a water hose on it. All of this is weatherproof. Garmin depth finder, GPS, very comfortable control box there. So your armrest to the control is absolutely easy to use. Now I have a question for some novice like myself, some newcomers to the boating area and industry world. Why would you want a tri-tune compared to a pontoon or possibly the two? So why would we want three on the bottom instead of two? Yeah, it really comes down to flotation and buoyancy and performance. So with three logs, we can get more speed. We're going to lift up and ride on top of the water. First with a two log boat, we're going to plow. Also, when you bring my two buddies, Kendall and Kevin, that are big guys, and you sit them in the front of the boat of a two log boat, we might have to worry about waves and water conditions a bit more than if we're on a tri-tune where Kendall and Kevin can sit wherever they want to. There's that not that awkward moment of, Kevin, can you sit back in the back? Which is a little uncomfortable. Sure, absolutely. I totally get it. As a bigger guy, I totally get that, that it's, statement. <laughs> it's so easy for me to spend everybody else's money, right? But you can find a lot more value and versatility in a tri-tune because you're going to get that higher speeds in the mid to upper 30s that are plenty enough to send me to the chiropractor behind the, the boat when I'm on a tube. Uh, and yet, if you're out running the storm, you've got uh, plenty of room there as well uh, uh, and plenty of speed to, to run there as well. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Brendan. I would like to see a little bit, uh, like, let's go to maybe like the higher level, maybe someone else who's not as new to or as green to these kind of boats and yeah. uh, looking for a little bit more luxury and, and hanging out, and, you know. Yeah, well, there's no shortage of luxury on this Bennington RSRFB. This is a fastback model. We can get accents with the pillow top furniture here, um, storage under every seat, uh, armrest. I was here. just going to ask for those armrests. Uh, Let's go ahead and throw this in here because we want to charge our phone. Oh my um, gosh. Which is nice to have uh, when you're out on the water. No shortage of lights, no shortage of cup holders. Uh, when you have those cup holders and drinks, hey, you're going to need a place to, to stow trash cans and things like that away. Um, and you have that in. Bennington really thought of everything. Definitely the, one of their top of the line boats uh, here. This particular boat has the electric bimini. For people that are on bridges, or sorry, on lakes that have low bridges, the electric bimini is very nice. Hit the switch and the bimini comes down. Yep. We also added the lights in this bimini, so it gives you great ambiance at night. Uh, this helm is amazing. A three inch lift there, a taller pedestal. That gets you over that taller friend that might be sitting in front of you there. Uh, the glass dash. There's no gauges on this boat. Everything is run through the, the Simrad unit right there. Uh, and GPS, sonar, gauges, everything you need. Uh, six speakers on this boat. And talking about where the speakers are, I'll show you some really cool speakers in the back back here. This is what makes it a fastback is these speakers back here in the water now we can hear the music and be part of what's going on the boat and we don't have to blare the speakers so loud in the boat whoever might be on there because we have some facing back yeah and it looks like there's some sort of audio adjustment on between your legs there you're exactly right audio adjustment there so hey if we've heard that song before i can shimmy right up the swim ladder and change the tune uh we have this for pulling alex around sling him and two of his buddies three of his buddies on a tube uh out back and certainly give everybody an exhilarating ride all right well guys you heard yourself here with uh Brandon from Gramps Marina. Thank you so much. Yep. I'm going to put their information on the bottom. I'm going to scroll it right as we go. Thank you again Thank you. so much, and we'll see you guys in a bit. We're currently at the Rock at Doors area, so they have a Barletta set up. We're going to check out some of their more entry level. Here is their 2024 2086 
BFX. Looks like we have a price here, $35.99. Hop on, you got some beautiful areas to hang out here. Your Bibney top. A nice swivel captain's chair. A big area to have your family hanging out here. It's powered by a 90 horsepower Yamaha. This looks like more of their entry level here. We're gonna go across and see what else they got. Here's the Barletta CSQ sitting out around 56 57 000. that's a really nice monthly payment here if you qualify for that it's a comfortable payment it looks like a lot of boat alex really likes this so far he actually told me to come over and check this out we have the opening right here front they have it you know, secure because of the event so these you can lift up and set those oh, here got a nice amount of storage here. you can put your well this one won't open because of the door right now the event that's so here show us on this side some storage where you could put your life vests, right here. safety equipment. Oh, bud, another one. Look at this. Armrest. I like that armrest idea. Here, sit down and give us a little demo, but keep your feet off of it because of your shoes. Probably one day you don't wear Crocs. <laughs> I like that. You, you got to talk like you're yelling at me. So there's also some storage here. Turn that knob. Other way. There you go. Perfect. It's like a whole... Yeah, some axe. Oh, no, it's a table. Look look where your hand is. Oh. That would all open up and fold it. Don't do it. There's the probably... Yep. Put the legs exactly like the other guy. We have our fire extinguisher down here. It's powered by our Lawrence. Now, my buddy... My buddy, Brian... We don't call him that. We call him by his last name. But since it's YouTube, I won't do that. That hurt my soul a little bit. He has his setup with his Lorance screen. The Lorance makes one heck of a product. Here's your captain seat that you have right here, but take a seat real quick. Yeah, Look at the armrest that it's got on both sides. I believe that is a swivel. It also has that platform. We're seeing a lot at this expo is this platform here, this raised platform. Now, at first I didn't really understand it, but talking to more and more, more and more vendors in this area, it makes a lot of sense. So now our Tahoe is very different, it is, it, but what they're saying is you're raised up an inch, two, three inches higher. So when you have someone hanging out here, either they're sitting or laying or lounging, you have less issues seeing over them. It makes it a lot easier to see over that person that's sitting in front of you. I really like that. I did notice that with our boat, where I'm sitting in our area, when I'm sitting and driving and Monique's sitting in front of me, we're at the same level. So I'm constantly like bobbing my head to make sure that we're safe and in front, we could go and hang out. So usually I'll have like Alex sitting in front of me and Monique sitting on the other side here. But um, that's really no here or there. I do like that idea a lot. This is a beautiful boat. I love the etched in here with Barlotta B. We're gonna go check out another one or two while we're in this area. Looks like you're sitting at about 77,000. It's MSRP just under 100, 640 a month now. I'm sure a lot of these prices are because of the expo, but I mean, you're getting a lot of boat for, for the price here. This one, it's got a 200 horsepower Merc on the out. It's got a bunch of seating storage areas. It's powered by Simrad, we're seeing that a lot. I like this dash cluster. The more storage alex is, <laughs> alex loves the storage big hiding guy i like that a lot hi how are you Good, yeah how are i'm you? joe nice to meet you nice mind being on video yeah no no all right your name is my name is brooke and i'm with rock outdoors all right guys so we're gonna go take a ride oh walk around with brooke barletta is one of the main brands that barletta we carry. i'm saying it wrong we also carry uh bennington and godfrey okay. uh godfrey the sweetwater experience is one of our best sellers it's an entry level price point boat but you can still get a 150 a tri-tune and a coke atmosphere usually under fifty thousand dollars okay if you don't mind we'd love to see that so i'm sorry about be, that guys we're in your way it's gonna be this blue boat right here we're gonna take a walk over to there more entry level so it comes with the yamaha 150 standard with the ski tow bar we're looking at right under fifty thousand actually under fifty forty six thousand dollars two co-captains chairs this boat currently sits 15 people comes with a fusion radio system. The only thing I usually recommend for customers to add to this boat is usually a depth finder. Okay. Um, you can get any range of different products all here at Rock Outdoors as well. Sure. Um, every Godfrey's gonna have rotomold storage in their seats. So what that means is inside here is a completely dry storage compartment. So you see your little track here, water will go down if you're in a big rainstorm or if you're just having a good time and plop down on the seat. Everything in there, towels, life vests will stay dry. And they use marine vinyl. Um, 
and they're pretty much this is our best seller every year all summer just well i can see why it has great features it's at a good price point and it's fun for the whole family too yeah no this is beautiful and like brooke said it does have a yamaha i'm sorry what was it 150 125 it's a 150 so besides the depth finder but i mean yeah, that's that's yeah and then so what we'll do is we'll actually go to that blue boat over there. I'm following That's you. It's going to be Barletta's entry level to luxury. So this is the Aria UC from Barletta. This is their most popular floor plan that they do make. It's got your co-captain's chairs and your ultra lounger in the back. Not only can you sit rear facing and forward facing at the same time, you can lounge rear facing. You can also turn this into a complete and then to go one step further Alex look at this you can lounge like this as well yeah so now we haven't seen that we've seen the lounge of Sun Deck but mm -hmm. we haven't seen it where this is a brilliant idea I like that a lot I know how my, my wife would love this especially when we're cruising and going yep. I like that a lot I'd say it's good because you can sit forward and backwards see your tubers see your skiers but sure. also anybody who doesn't want to look rear facing can still sit forward and lounge at the same time and enjoy it yeah and they didn't skip out on the cup holders nope they <laughs> One, give you tons two, of cup three, holders four. and tons of storage look at how simple this is compact i got the whole thing yeah barletta also is the most dog friendly brand on the market every barletta is gonna come standard with your doggy dock view doors so if you guys want to step inside sure you can see that through your front gate and also through this side gate. Completely see-through. So your furry friend can sit there and look out of you as the captain in your captain's chair can see out while you're docking the boat. This is a fantastic feature Check. for anyone. Yep. Motors as well, because then you just have that extra safety feature that's a little special. Sure. They also give you a, a recessed pet tray. We have not seen that at all that petri at all on any other boat in here i know we're gonna get x bit in here now can this ball can this come with that raised platform so you have to go to the next series up which okay. is the cabrio oh uh, do you mind if we see that then yep so it'll be right across sure from us. guys we're gonna hop over here it's gonna be the cabrio from barletta this is a 22 uc it's got your ultra lounger and your co-captain's chair the biggest differences between your aria and your cabrio are gonna be your raised platform. You get a little bit more plush interior here. Also, your ultra lounger can do even more things than it does in the Aria. So now this one also has the everything with the dog, the seat, it does, yep. it's right there. Everything's I can see that. Everything's exactly the same. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. So you obviously can lean in this. You can lay all the way flat. Each individual piece back here. Oh yeah. Can. Oh my gosh. Lift up and set, or either way, both sides. Without really giving up anything. Nope. I mean, someone can sit like this, or sit this direction. It also has an automatic bilge, so if there ever was water to get in there, mm -hmm. it'll pump it right out for you. Excellent. So they also, in the Cabrio, another awesome touch you get is instead of your pedestal table, you know, your typical pontoons usually have. Buddy, I'm going to shut this door real quick. You actually have a table. So you open yeah, this up and you can see the table legs. Sure. So instead of the one in your way that kind of nobody uses half the time exactly you have one that's useful that you mm -hmm. can stick coolers under get out of the way and then when everybody's ready to pack up you just clip it with this lovely little snap here Whoop. Take it down. i was about to say my hair's in my way yeah <laughs> that's and what came around <laughs> you just push it closed like that you also get fold down armrest in the cabrio and then just like we talked about earlier road and mold storage in your seats yeah a ton of storage for the life vests and everything like that that you guys have to bring anyway see here we have the fire extinguisher uh, what is this a phone holder yep so you have a phone holder and actually a usb and usc charger in your co-captain's caddy yeah that's great 
That is one thing Barletta does a little different than everyone is you do get charging ports throughout the entirety of the boat. Sure. Also, your cut on and off switch for your battery instead of being down in a seat is conveniently located on the outer wall of your ultra lounger. So That's one less thing convenient. to have to really remember sure. each time. So we're looking at another one of Rock Outdoors 2023. This is a 202 Islander with a whole length of 19 foot 10 inches, draft of 13 inches, it has an eight foot two inch beam, dry weight of 2400, and they have it listed here today for 67, nine, 68,000, looking at about a $580 payment a month. How are you liking the inside, Alex? When we come over here, you can see how are you gonna sit on this? Well, you just recline this down, and then you sit down. Perfect, but do you know what that's for? <laughs> All right, now put him back how you had him. He was curious how you would be sitting when that's like that. Yeah. But now, for others who don't know, that's actually a, a can you lean, put your body in there. Those are like bolsters. That's when you're a little bit taller. Your butt would be there, your, your back, your lower back would be there. And you would use that to push against as you're cruising through. That's not for sitting on, that's for leaning against. But good job. I think it's good. But yeah, show us, all right, so nice and easy comes down. I love it. You have the Pioneer stitched in here. We got this back area here. I like how you can fit a nice size cooler. It has the straps on each side. Lift that, perfect. You have a seating area there. It has a lot of this foam matting here. Very nice. This one has a four stroke Suzuki 150 on the back of it. Your console. Got all your rod holders, more of an ocean bay boat instead of a lake boat, but I'm sure you could use it on a lake. Why not? I mean, if your lake is big enough, our lake isn't as big that we're on, but we do have center consoles that are running on our lake too. One other thing that I really like about this is the fact that you can put your rod So that would be more for when you're fishing, you'd open this up here. Yeah, very cool. I like it. You have your seats, almost like your lounge. These probably come out. We're not going to mess with them. This seat right here. Nice cleat. Guys, the only thing I would have to say downside to our Tahoe are the size cleats. Our cleats are very, very small. So if you're looking at boats, you're new to the boat world, check out your cleats that you have. Like these are the nice recessed cleats that come up and down, nice size cleats. But our Tahoe has something like this all around. They're very, very tiny and uh, it's kind of hard to tie up to things and uh, it's kind of real small. Guys, right now we're at the Bentley exhibit at Long Island Marina. We're looking at the Bentley Pulse. We're sitting right under $40,000. It's a nice size pontoon. Sorry about the loudspeaker above the going over. There's events and stuff going on while we're here. This one has a Suzuki 150 on the back. Even at this price point, I love this. This, this little extra right here really goes a long way. I love the way they did that on here. So we're looking at it right now, Alex. What do you like about this one so far? So, you can have you have the tow bar in the back, which you you and your buddies love. Besides that, what did you see? But besides that, recliners. Uh, one recliner. Well, you're not the captain, but <laughs> yeah, that is nice as the captain area. And that seat is the softest seat I've heard or felt so far. Obviously. So as of right now, that is the softest seat. So this oh, is a tri tune or a triple tune, right here. They tell you right now. Here's the price. Guys, for a very entry level, uh, I don't know if the trailer comes with the price on this too. We're gonna go check out and see what else Bentley has, mid range, high range, and go from there. But they have a beautiful exhibit here at Long Island Marina. So I'm sorry, I'm here with Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. I'm yeah, Joe. Nice to meet you too, Bill. So this is a uh, this is the Bentley product, and when they talk tritune, there's two styles of tritune. One is a sports tube, and one is a full tube. Okay. A sports tube is basically 75% of the length of the boat. However the difference between a sports tube and a full tube is a certification on the transom. Okay. So on a sports tube, inherently, it's about a 150 max. When you go a full tube, you can go up to as much as 300 horsepower. Oh, now, very in, interesting. I did not a, know that. In a smaller boat, do you, you want the benefits of a tritune, but you don't want high horsepower. A sports tube is perfectly workable because it gives you the buoyancy, gives you the handling, the maneuverability, and the stability in rough water. But when you go to the next level up, like you see here in the Bentley, this is 
This is a 21 footer, this is a 22. You can see this has a full tube. And you see the benefits. You say, what's the price difference? Well, it's, it's, it's furniture, full tube, and also other amenities. So there's always a reason for the price gap. You can definitely right. see right. starting off at your at your Bentley Bolt and then moving up to your Correct. That's legacy. Purely a, that is a price point tritune for people that want it. Tritune with a 150. Sure. This still has a 150 on it, uh -huh. but it is more, it is a, it's a, it is, it is a more performance orientated boat. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. It's a, it both equally as beautiful though. Correct. Yeah. And then you go from the regular, this is what we call a legacy series. You can go to the elite series, which is right here. And you see it has ski locker, you go, it has a raised helm, you go look at the instrumentation on the dash, high back. This raised platform, I don't know if it's a, an upgrade. If it is, I think it's definitely worth it. I like that idea. Yes, it is an upgrade. It is an upgrade. Okay, so it is an upgrade. This isn't the only deal, only brand that's doing it as an upgrade. Most of them are. I think it's well worth it. Now this, I, I could see your kill switch for your batteries are over here. Which is nice. Yeah, it's very nice. You don't have to, you have yeah. USB. You'll also see the ladder on the back of the Elite here is also a wide step ladder. It's also four steps and it goes down on an angle. So it's a lot friendlier to the more mature customer, okay? And the ski toe acts as an upper pull. When you're coming up the ladder, you've got an upper grab to help yourself out of the water. There it is, bingo bee. I like to think Josh's face. Say a lot. I like to think Josh's face. <laughs> so hot, Josh. Alright, if you catch three, I'll buy you lunch. Cheese! Uh, buy you lunch? Oh. We got Alex over here using Josh's bait, Uncle Josh's bait, and uh, honestly, he's been slamming them left and right over here. Oh, you gotta let it sit there a second. Yeah, it's too funny. You're getting too, you're too happy. Bingo, hold the tip up, hold the tip up. Show a little struggle, my God. I'm gonna have to put the limit on you. I want to <laughs> I told, told Alex if he catches five in a row, we're gonna go for lunch. And uh, that's about his eighth one. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's about it from this Greensboro, North Carolina boat show here, 2024. Alex and I, my dad, we had a great time. Thank you to all the vendors that took their time to explain everything to us, to show their boat, show us their products. Uh, I'm going to link their information for each one of those dealers down below. But that's about it for now. And like always, if you don't mind, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. and love to have you back. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know what you were doing. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there you go.